Hello and welcome back and today I want to tell you how to install Kodi version 18 on your QNAP NAS. Okay, so for those that aren't aware, QNAP along with a bunch of other NAS brands like Acer Store and Thinkers have slowly been pulling the Kodi application from their app stores. Most of them have already done it, and there's a few left out there, but for the most part, this is because Kodi is, get, is getting a pretty bad reputation. As legal as the Kodi app is, the multimedia dashboard interface, the XMBC hybrid, um, is as legal as that is, people are using it for bad, bad means. Streaming illegal media or downloading illegal media um, you know, copyrighted uh, infringed material and then watching it. So once again, as I've said in my other videos, I am not endorsing that kind of behavior. And if you are gonna conduct that kind of behavior, do me a favor, leave the video now, there you go. But for the rest of you that want to take advantage of Kodi, which is still to date, in my opinion anyway, one of the most user-friendly user interfaces for media playback, if you want to install the latest version on your QNAP NAS, in the description there is a link that goes through the entire guide bit by bit and holds your hand through the entire installation of installing the unofficial, uh, unsupported, I should say, application Kodi version 18 on your QNAP NAS. But in short, in order to carry on with that, before you go down to that link, do bear in mind, what you're going to need straight away is firstly, you need an HDMI enabled NAS. It's no use buying a QNAP NAS that doesn't have an HDMI port. At the moment, the lowest you can get away with, to my knowledge, is the TS251 Plus, or even that TAS, the TAS2168. Uh, There's some other units coming out. So the one we've got on the screen here is the TS253BE, and there is a standard B series that arrives with a remote control, which leads me straight into my second point. You're going to need a remote control to enjoy Kodi. Now, there are three ways to go about this. Version uh, Option one, you go for a QNAP NAS that arrives with a remote control. Several of them do. The TS253B does, uh, the TVS473, um, to name but a few. Lots of QNAP NASs arrive with a remote control inside, which is IR compatible, infrared, which lets you control the user interface of Kodi via your NAS in your front room when it's connected to your TV. Second, you can buy a Bluetooth enabled um, Android control. You must have seen some of these ones with a big old keypad attached to them that let you stream, um, let you access the likes of Raspberry Pi and more. If you can get a Bluetooth supported um, controller, that's all, all the better as well. And there's lots of other third party remote controls you can go for. Last option is to use your mobile phone and use QNAP's own Q Remote application or lots of other third party network remote controls. They're completely free and available on Android and iOS. So once again, second point, make sure you download a remote control or buy a remote control to control your user friend, uh, your, your user interface. First thing you're gonna need, uh, third thing you're gonna need is of course the media that's inside your NAS. I know it sounds really silly, but so many of you buy a device like this and don't realize you need to put hard drives inside, otherwise you're not gonna be able to record the media on anything. So do bear that in mind. Now, the steps of install installing Kodi are painfully easy. Like I say, the guide in the description We'll talk you through it and it's got lots of images and graphics to talk walk you through it but first and first there'll be a link there to downloading the qpkg file for kodi version 18 you download that to your local machine then go into your qnap user interface using the likes of qfinder or going directly to the ip go into the app center and at the top right there'll be an option to download or, or install manually your own custom um, QKP, Q, uh, QPKG applications, basically unofficially unsupported applications. Go there, click there, and there'll be an option to browse or upload. Browse and upload, find that file we downloaded earlier, upload it to the NAS, and it'll ask you if you want to run the installation. You say yes, and it will install the Kodi application on HD Station. That's the HDMI output, output application of your QNAP NAS, and that's it. Then you've got access to the Kodi version 18 or version layer on your QNAP NAS. And once again, this is not supported by QNAP. I'm not telling you that you should do this, I'm telling I'm just telling you how. But moreover, please treat it legally and safely because Kodi's a great app and there's so many bad apples out there that are ruining the party for the rest of us. So, once again, if you want to know how to install Kodi version 18, I know it's getting repetitious, go to the description and follow the guide linked there at the top. There's no clickbait, there's no ads, any of that crap, it'll just go straight to the article. Click there, follow the article, and you will have Cody on your keynote now. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We talk about how we install all kinds of applications on your NAS, unofficial and otherwise. Um, otherwise, uh, subscribe to nascompete.com and buy your NAS from Span.com. Thanks for watching.